Hello. Um, yeah, I thought about making some series of some body practice and movement practice that I usually do at home when I feel needed. And it is not exercise and it's more about releasing the body and just getting in touch with what's going on in my body. Um, yes, yeah, so this is the first of uh, hopefully a series of uh, things that I'm going to offer and um, this is to basically releasing the tension, grounding and balancing out the body. So yeah, you can do this at any time, maybe once a day when you feel a little bit um, tensed around the neck, shoulders, or maybe the back, or in the middle of the day, busy day, just to calm down. Yeah, so what you need is a chair, and I have a chair here. This is a little bit too high for me, but hopefully you can find the right chair. And you're going to lie down on the back. to be is where you can find the right angle on the hips and also the knees. Yeah, so it's about there. You don't want to feel any tension around the hip joint, so if you come really close then you feel this is kind of stuck and not free. Or if you're too far away, you also don't feel the easiest. So if you think about the femur bone, the thigh bone, the bone here is falling into the hip joint, hip socket. So that's where you want to be. So the gravity is a large friend, very important friend of us. And the gravity does a lot of work. So first of all, Settling the body and as well as as well as well as the thigh bone falling into the hip socket. You can start feeling the back of the pelvis, the spine, the head, everything start resting. So you can just observe that. You don't need to try to do anything. This is about being rather than doing. You can put your hands anywhere you feel comfortable. So in my case, sometimes lower abdomen just to kind of feel a bit protected, I guess. Or sometimes I have my left hand on the chest where the heart is, and right hand on the solar plexus, just a bit of the bottom of the sternum. If you need to cage, that's nice place as well. Sometimes I just feel my arms should be on the floor, so I feel a little bit more opening on the chest in this way. So anywhere you, anywhere you feel right, anywhere you feel safe, and you can sort of relax. I think today my hands are going to be on the lower abdomen. So whatever you're noticing, any sensations or small movement. What you don't want to do is thinking about something, thinking, oh, what I need to do after this, da 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 da, -da. what happens then, da 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 da, -da. all these things can be left on side mm -hmm. and you can come back later. So this is a time for you to just be with your body. Almost like self-indulgence, just you can just pay attention to whatever happening on the body. And feeling comfortable is the most important thing. So if you don't feel the angle of the knees not quite right, or maybe the surface too hard, maybe you need to put the blanket or something underneath. Also the position of the head 
you might need something under the head so you feel easy on the neck. Um, all these things just make yourself comfortable. And it's really what's doing it now rather than leaving it and see what happens if you notice now, do it now. And this is a little bit different from sleeping in the night. You are a little bit half asleep, half awake, and paying attention to whatever happening in the body. The first thing I noticed was my lip was quite tensed when I started. And now I can just relax completely when my legs start turning out. Uh, that's the first thing I noticed. And some movement on the spine. Also at the moment I feel the lower abdomen, maybe some digestive system or something. That, it's not really nice feeling actually. But uh, just I can deal with it. Breath. You don't need to do particular breathing. It just just breathe how the body wants to breathe, and noticing how you're breathing. So sometimes we want to breathe fast. Sometimes we want to breathe slow or deep, shallow, regular, irregular. Everything is fine. Just body is doing what it needs to do. So accepting that the body knows what it needs to do. Also trusting the body will sort things out as the time passes. So you can just relax here, wait, Noticing, and you might start noticing some part of the body constantly holding the tension, possibly shoulders, neck, or the back. And noticing is a big thing, it's a big step forward. You just do not. And also noticing any movement. The biggest, biggest movement that I feel now is the tummy rising and falling with my breath. And I can just be with the movement of the tummy. I notice my heartbeat. of the chair. So all these things will be different depending on the time and your body and everything is fine. a little bit longer. Eventually if you can stay maybe 10 minutes to stay uh, to start with or maybe 20 minutes and then definitely you will have some kind of journey you will feel some shift happening on the body and you might actually drift away a little bit and that's also fine. you might feel some jolt or some sudden movement happening on the body and that's also fine. As I say before, the body knows what it needs to 
Keep going, and I'm going to stop here. Thanks for joining me, and see you next time.